Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Dungree, the hit action roguelite. I'm excited to be back to here today. We are moving over to the Devil Swordsman once more because we do need to win a run, at least against the normal final boss, to unlock this character. So back to him we shall go. Forced at 40 HP, we can never gain more, but we can also never gain less. We start with a big fancy sword, but we can never take it off and also never upgrade it. Just some weird stuff all around for this guy, but I also did a run off camera to get that extra like five levels or whatever so that we can Aegis, which is going to put us down to level one with a tough character. I mean, we will see. It's going to probably it's probably be bad, right? So we do get one extra ability point. The max HP doesn't matter. We can't have that go up. Five crit chance is going to be something. But other than that, we mostly lose out on our ability points down here. We have nine that we can spend, though, which does put us in a situation where we can just grab a five in something. I think the extra dash and the double jump is probably the five worth grabbing. And I'll just get some defense to go with it. All right. Free legendary. Crew gun. Uh, okay. Become invincible during dash. That's music to my eyes. I know what I said. So let's grab a cloth armor. I would not mind that. We could get maybe the synergy for that. Steam shield is unfortunately irrelevant with two two-handed weapons. Spike ball is fine. Uh, other than that, we can pop up here and grab a couple things. We'll get the Uzi. And then we will pop back out and refresh. Sorry, there's just so much to do before a run now. Overeating, eternal perk. You'll be able to eat past your maximum satiety, but beware because you may get indigestion. Okay. Then 15 points, surely. I, okay, I could get that, but I don't really want to spend all of them. We're going in on normal mode because I am level one and one of the hardest characters, if not the hardest character. So I think that this will be fine. So, I mean, starting with this legendary gun... I feel like we could work around that pretty darn well. And, like, getting iframes on a dash to start is really good. 25 power. So what does this suffer from indigestion when eating? What does it mean? Movement speed down by 20%. Attack speed down by 20%. Power down by 25%. Is that only well I'm like Okay. Gotcha. It's until it's cleared. So that's not a problem. We also have this Q, which is a little bit of a thrown grenade. Okay. I mean, so far so fine. I'm I, I kinda like it. It's clearly like it's gotta be a reference to something, and I don't know what that is. But oh well. <laughs> so uh oh my lord. Feels like the uh, the the bloating and stuff should be like a, a dash cooldown decrease or something. I mean, not to give ideas, but feels like it should be that in addition. We do have our big old sword, but I don't know. You know, we did we did the run with the big old sword. I'm don't feel uh, necessarily obligated to use it. If anything, I feel more obligated to use the uh, the random legendary we got. Did that do 104 damage on crit? For real? That is pretty exceptional. Uh, aim accuracy, gold drop. I will say we can do this for free because we can't lose max health. See, there you go. You know what? Maybe things are uh, coming up Devil Swordsman. That his name? Okay, so we are back to our normal, uh, normal stats now. Can we bomb upward? We can indeed. Didn't know if it was just going to be like that only when it touches the ground. Okay. So I guess I, I've been told never to uh, overflow your satiety before a boss, which sucks because that's kind of like, I don't know, that sounds like the obvious thing to do with the overeating. It's like you keep it, uh, you know, juggled and then on the boss is when you would overflow, but apparently not. Because we get the... I mean, I guess I can see why. Like, t potentially 20% movement speed, 20% uh, attack speed, and 20 power down. I could maybe take the 10 and 10, it said. Like, 
which I guess is just when you are not overflowed as much. Oh god, there's a wall there. <laughs> Duh. Like, I could probably do that. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Good morning. Alright, we'll go grab this one. We do have to do a little trap room for it. Oh my god. It's weird, there's not that many of these. I'm kind of glad there's not, to be perfectly frank. Is this part of the, uh... Oh, this isn't part of the set. Wait, oops. Uh, I will grab the leather armor. I don't even remember. I don't even remember getting this. When did that when did that happen? I rolled a 5% attack speed on it though, which is kind of nice. Cuz it's normally just the 8 power, but we, you know, randomly roll the good thing. That throwing arc is very awkward. I will say that for sure. Okay. Yeah, it's like very up very art. Definitely feels like a uh, throw it downwards kind of a thing if it can... Well, unless... No, not even that. That was me throwing it literally downwards. I think it just always has the exact same arc. I think that's what it is. No? I, I, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Okay, we'll go get the food. Maybe? Do we want it? Sure. I mean, a lot of the food is going to be redundant because of the, um... The fact that it will probably give, like, HP upgrades and stuff. So, I guess with that in mind, I will... I'll say sure. A little bit of just power. Definitely useful. Oh. Oh. Just faster than expected. Okay. Uh oh. I thought I was trapped, to be honest. Beep. Thank you, iframes. Alright. Yeah, I think it's not a bad gun. Not, it's not crazy. It's not like not impressed or anything, but it is nice. It's it's solid enough. I can't use that. I this is good. It's really good. It's so good. Oh, why does it have to be so good? It's an offhand. I don't have a good main hand yet. 33% uh. reload speed, 20% damage, and 20 ignore defense or one true damage. I feel like those two things together is pretty good. The reload speed, like I, I want reload speed, but is it going to be that big of a deal? I feel like I don't even need to do that. All right, but also is defense. Oh my god. Uh oh. I don't feel like I'm doing very much damage already. Already, I feel like I've got some problems. Max health, max health. I mean, I guess I'll go for the defense and evasion. It's that's the only one that has three stats that are useful. That arc is wacky. Yeah, okay. I mean, we'll see what we can do. Maybe it scales really well with power. It was feeling great on floor one. It's not <laughs> feeling great anymore already, which is... Wait, what hit me? There was a dog behind me? I didn't even... Couldn't have told you that. That arc is obscene. Whoop. All right. We do have that little HP on the ground if we want to rock it. Whoop. Spring shoes gain in bonus damage the longer you're airborne and three jump power. I feel like um what did that what would that be good for if you have if you have flight? Feels like that's when it's four. Okay. Because if that counts... It 
Skills grant a buff that increases your critical damage by 8% for 15 seconds stacking three times. 7% attack speed. For 15 seconds, what's the cooldown? 10 seconds? Oh! Oh! This rolled a uh, an extra dash. Uh, say less. Charge weapons, charge fast. I don't... I don't know. But yeah, I, hockey ring, I already like hockey ring. Do I think it's crazy good? No, but I do really like it. It's a big deal. I'm not going to say it's a 10% damage upgrade, but it's not far from it. Which, 10% damage may not sound like a lot, but it's, it's a big deal. Oops. That other item, though, critical damage. I mean, the two items together could be useful, obviously. Not lost on me. I get it. God, I... The thing... Oh, there's spikes here, too? Oh, my God. The, uh, the thing is, those little turrets don't actually do damage to you for touching them. The spikes do. It's a lightsaber. I... The lightsaber's good. I feel like the lightsaber is probably better when you're on higher difficulty levels, though. As enemies get more and more defense. I will tell you, though, the lightsaber plus that, um... Does it have any defense on it? Nah, that'd be nice. Uh, the lightsaber plus the, whatever, the fire thing? That'd be hot. That'd be... Little fire hands. Bring a Midas. Does it have anything else on it? Just gold drop. I do think it has... Like, everybody keeps saying, like... It has some busted synergies, but... I don't know. Let's see. There's a chance that I literally just don't grab any of this, and I wait for next floor. Because I can't increase my health, so maybe I just say no to this stuff? Am I getting the ability thing? I can get rid of scope. I don't care that much about the aim accuracy. 8% crit damage. Let's sell a couple things, I guess. Ugh. I'm not going to be doing this. Don't really care about it right now. Alright. Get in there. I'll just wait. I'll make sure I can use my Q. Go. 30. 30 what? Okay. 45. Uh-oh. Trying to make sure that I just spam it, basically. So I guess it means 45 seconds. So, like, we could go 45 seconds without having to uh, press it again? That's a big deal. That's helpful. All right. I feel like I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I got noticeably stronger. Ooh. Ooh, I do like that item. This plus the fire hand. That would have been good. All right. So the question is anvil or food. I think I'll take the food. We're already going to be going for a minus. Oh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. Go for the crit chance. I mean, 10 crit chance versus 10 power. It's hard to say. I think that we should get... We should be getting both. Definitely doing this. I was going that way anyways, but oh well. Uh-oh. Do it because we can. So that I remember. Yeah, I'm not going to say that the... I got to make sure that I don't get one shot, though. 
some more crit chance. Oh, God. A lot of stuff that don't work together. So that's the, uh, the heal on crit thing. It's not going to help me in a boss fight scenario that much. But it is going to help my room clear, like, standard survivability a lot. That's why it's so good. It used to be better. It's been nerfed. But, uh, it still seems very good. It's, you should be excited to get it, but it's not as broken as it was. A little bit more broken on, uh, today since we did just go for the crit chance, which immediately became the correct choice the second we got blood of Sorby, Orby, 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 Orby. Okay. We should be critting enough to basically be procking it on its new cooldown. That was the way that it used to be better, is it used to not have a cooldown and heal more. It was, I mean... It was stupid sounding to me. I don't know. Because it's already... It's already so good. And honestly, I am here for it. Critical damage. Iron armor. I'm definitely going to be keeping these two. This just rolled the... This rolling the dash count is a really big deal. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not... I'm never going to use that synergy. Um, 8 power, 5% attack speed could probably get, you know, trashed. <laughs> I mean, I, even if I start working on that synergy, I'm not going to use it because I have Blood of Sorbio. So I'm not going to get that for the synergy. I am certainly confused. I guess we're just I guess we're just rocking this stuff, but then we're we're so frail. Like should I meet I feel like I should meet in the middle. Four power. I feel like that's fine. Eight eight defense, which is not a lot. But it is some defense. It was what? It was 4% attack speed on that? That one was 4%, not the 8%, right? 5. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it's pretty n noteworthy. Gotta make sure I keep using my ability. It's gonna be tough to remember to use it on cooldown, I'd say. 20 power. Okay, well, there you go. 20 power, 4 power, minus 10 max health. That's so much power. All right, well. And we don't even lose the health. That's big. Oh, boy. Just want to keep that resetting. Just to, Like, even if I just spam it for the extra critical damage, it's worth it. I see the coin. I don't care. I'm at 100. What was I at before? I don't know, but I am so pleased with that. Everything is going our way now. I am going to have to um, just... I, got, I was very lucky. going to have to just kind of like pick one of the foods, I think. Too close to even hit that guy. Otherwise, it's going to be super suboptimal. Five point eight that has five point eight defense as well. Works for me. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know, it's the fact that, that uh my active ability thing also comes with the attack speed upgrade. That has me interested in oh man. This gun, it, we we had some ups and downs today with this gun, but it is absolutely doing great now. I think that as the enemy's, like, armor gets higher or something. Just wait. 
Just wait. That's good enough for me. I don't know if that hit. Oh, come on, he delayed. <laughs> that arc is crazy. Okay. Why is there so many? Thank you for the evade. Is it like the faster you kill him, the more he spawns? He I thought he only spawned like four. I hate that arc. That is actually bonkers. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. We're fine, but also that was spooky. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, God. Where's my stand? Oh, yeah, that's right. My standard sword's up there. I'll Four defense. It's not bad. 12% damage on weapon attacks. Three defense. An extra dash is legit, too, but... 12% extra damage on weapon attacks. Yes. Yes. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to get those upgrades slower. I don't know, man. Attacks per second, five. I'll grab it. The question is if I... Am I gonna use that right now? Probably. Oh, these are great. We got a great shop here. I mean, it means we have to reload less. It also means less opportunity to heal up from Sorby or Inventory Full. I know, I really gotta... I beefed it there. Waiting for the shop. So, I don't think I've ever had a full inventory. Does it, what does it do for us? Can we go pick up that item, or is it gone forever? I'm just gonna not open up the chest, just in case. I'm just gonna try another room with this one. I think that it's the- I think it's right. I think this is it. Like, for a tap shoot, we'd go for the other one. I'm just gonna keep on swapping back and forth until I feel like I have- Oh god, why'd I do that? Come to a conclusion. It's really hard to say. I need to stop. I need to stop. I just need to stop. Stop opening things. This is why I sell my stuff. I need an altar or something now. Hmm. Ow. I will say for Sorbio, we want attack speed. I think because of the... Yeah, I think just... We gotta keep that in mind. Because of the day that it is. Okay, don't touch this. I need to find a freaking altar or shop. Just because of Sorbio, I think we go for the attack speed. If we had a pistol or something instead, 
We'd use the other one since the uh, attack speed doesn't matter. It's based off of our trigger finger. Cut. Oh. That way we do have to remember to uh, press our Qs, but maybe that's going to be a good thing anyways to remind me. Yep. Thank you. Expand the cues. Thank you. Okay. Uh, boop, boop. <sighs> Ooh. Some good stuff there. I just am not going to do it. 43, we might be able to do this. Now let's get our garbage. Magnet. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. <laughs> get coins when meleeing and absorb stuff in. I mean, 8% critical damage at least has got... It, it rolled well for that. I mean, it rolled something. At the very least. Right. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That's so good, too. The crew gun's new. I mean, that one with the fire hand, and we would... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean. Yeah, it'd be over. It's probably already over, though. Eh. I have the money for it, but I don't have the item slots for it. God, I wish I could have two weapon slots. Because then I would rock the Lars Magic Shield and... Well, magic Shield. Magic Wand and the Riot Shield. I'm... Is it worth 3,000 bucks to have an option to do that anyways? Sure. Probably not correct. But I am going to do it anywho. Got to remember, a secret little something about this weapon is we get iframes on our dash. Like, that's not... Normally I just rock the attack speed tree because the game feels... Like, mistakenly designed without iframe dashes built in at the beginning. But, um... Yeah, no, I just actually have the weapon that'll do it. Obviously not doing that. Alright. Go, 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 go. Alright, go in. Hello. Envy Rock. Oh. Oh, God, I beefed that. And then you just... Then you went and did this for me, huh? Okay, we're fine on the bottom. Basically, both... It's always just, like, check and see if you're fine to just hang out on the bottom. All right. You know what? Goodbye. <laughs> Why? Just screw you, I guess. We got back up to full health, basically. I need... I need... Defense. I guess I'll... Take that. <laughs> that's very good. Uh, that's almost a synergy. You know what? I think that's worth it. I mean, I don't, because I don't care about the 20 max health, Dan. Okay. I mean, that should be so much damage. Oops. We want to go for probably the most, uh, I was say the most defensive one, but. Ooh. 
Okay, this sniper man is spooky. Okay, so we still want to use our Q because using our Q is good to do. But it's not as scary. Like, we don't need to spam it. Not sure on the other stuff. The wand's just so good, it feels... wrong to not use it. Don't use that until I've lost more health than five, because I can probably... Probably just get it back. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, leave me alone. God, the walls there. All right, we're fine. I feel like I missed a chest on the last floor. I don't really care. Or if I did, that's going to be my spoiler to you. Doop, doop. Okay, 59. Yeah, I definitely want to get that other food, even though... Ooh. Stop. I get it. Okay, well... We have one that we can definitely get rid of. I get it. You want me to use the overpowered wand. I'll tribute the, the one that has 9 max HP instead of the one that has crit damage. Because the max HP does not matter. If I get like a really... Oh, God. Good shield or something. I could see that being the thing that puts me over the edge on using the wand instead. Another charm of power. This one without anything. Hmm. Not going for nothing. Oh! Sniper no sniping. I don't know if I've heard that sound from Lightning Dog. Just focus up, focus up, focus up. Good deal. Oh, God. Just so slowly. I will say that this zone, I definitely do like having those, uh, the ability to swat those away with your melee weapon. I do like that. A lot. Is it worth uh, having to use a melee weapon for the whole run? No. Because look at that. That's also the benefit we could... I, I know there's gold back there. I just... I'm too lazy. Ooh. You can also just outrange them, which is something you can't do with a melee weapon. Theoretically. Good deal. Can even sell a little bit of something, something. Let's go back and get the food. We have not lost any of our lives yet. <sighs> Doing it for the 3.9 defense. Otherwise, obviously, going for the one that's just power is better. room. I hate that room with a passion, man. It's actually, that's one that's better with melee as well. I think that this zone is a little bit more melee friendly, I guess, is what I'm learning. Whoop. Uh, 
I don't wait. What the hell is that land mi mine man? I'm gonna lose my mind. Why does he have to be in this freaking quarter? Oh man. Oh man. Things are getting dicey at the end here. All right. Uh, did we even check what's in the shop? Yeah, we did. We can re-roll it. Fun. Okay, back up to full. Doesn't take much for us to get back up to full when we have um, no health to begin with. All right. That, was that the last of the floor? We have the riot shield synergy. I'm not going to be using that over my upgraded legendary gun, but I do appreciate the offer. Yep, you really, yep. You you did indeed put a lot of enemies on the screen. <laughs> and called it, and called it a room. Finding it harder to use the grenade even than before. And it was already kind of hard to use the grenade. Some health that I don't need. Love to see it. We do have Flying Boss now, which is a whole thing. The Power One, what's the... It's, it is Cabbage, so it's like it's not as much, but it's fine. I guess we uh, do a little bit of sacrificing. I'm not going to be using that. I should sell the other thing. I think we're done with those. Oh, wait. Wow, we're a lot more full than I remembered. Voop. This is just for selling. Oh, boy. I think we are done with that. If there's no option except for, um, for an anvil, and the anvil doesn't have anything like really good for like Sorbio or something then maybe I'll upgrade Lara's and then we'll maybe maybe give it a look all right I do expect to lose a life to slime maker I mean we have iframe dashes that helps a lot oh my god Okay. That's how you do it, baby. No life lost to Slime Maker after all. All right. The hell are we doing here? Also gives you 10 defense down, though. Well, I would have to lose one of these two. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so mean. Do we get to know what the set bonus does? Oh, my God. Uh, One second. I'll do it. If I'm ever going to do it, it'd be today, right? I also don't even know if Blood of Sorbio makes sense then. Which is the crazy thing. Because, like, I am so frail. Wait, what was the synergy? It was, um, 35% extra final damage and 10 max damage. I mean, we should be doing lots. I mean, it's very good damage. <laughs> like, that's very good damage. As it 
should be. <laughs> defense and crit chance, defense and evasion. I'm going to get defense and evasion to, to deal with that. I still have some positive defense. So that helps. I'm also rich. This is definitely a, um, like, just hope you do so much damage that you don't have to, like, pay attention to the boss fight kind of a build. The good news is I think it, uh, I think it may successfully be that. Thirty-five percent final damage. Kind of a big deal. I don't even know that this gun is like that good. It might be like just looking really good. So okay, for science. For science, let's oh. Oh god. I don't know, maybe. Voop, voop, voop. I mean... Yeah, ours is definitely doing more damage. This does just have the, like, you don't have to aim element to it, which is really nice. Coin gun. I've heard this is crazy, but... I do not have the synergies and stuff for it. It's probably not that crazy. This I've just upgraded so much too at this point. Also, the grenade part does a uh, heap and help in a damage. Oh boy. Cool, cool, cool. It's a main hand, do four extra true damage, very awkward thing. I There's got to be a use for it. Okay, this would be a Lara's wand thing. But I, again, can't have it in my offhand. Oh, that's an actual wall. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sniper now. Oh boy. This is very rude. Okay, so those um those phase out. That ooh. So okay. We could just, like, not have Sorbio on until we need Sorbio, but, like... Oh, God, this is... It's tricky, because I'm like... Well... I got Sorbio. Ow. I feel like if I have more than... More than ten laws, I guess I'll just do it. I have another one, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay. If I have another one, then yeah. Okay. Oh. That man did not die. Did he? I guess he did. Floating man died? Weird. Eh. Those pierce through walls, so... <laughs> I do miss my fourth dash. When we're at full, that's the tricky thing. When we're at full, we could have a different item instead of Sorbio. And it doesn't actually matter. In fact, it's probably good. It's just like... But then if I'm in the room and I do take a hit and I don't have Sorbio... Okay, we already did this. Then that sounds scary as well, right? I don't know. We'll do what we can. We got our extra lives. We're doing large number damage. If we get to the final boss and we just have all of our lives still, 
we may just win by default from like sheer like face smash into enemy numbers. Secondary pistol. Okay, extra health. Whoop. Cool. <laughs> Catching him out of the air is so fun. Got to be prepared for, yep, the big boys to show up. Actually, scary man. Not using it, but thank you. Ooh. Ooh. There's definitely an argument for that. How much money? I have so much money. And there's health, enough health around... As long as it doesn't do 40. 20. That works. Works for me. Is that enough? It's enough to get the eight powers. Is there any more rooms? There are. Okay, so then I'll wait a second to see what we're actually working with. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to actually... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go on th with 30. Should be fine. It was. Thank you. 37. We did it. That's all of the rooms. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to see. So we're at 41. Let's, I guess I'll just get the 8 power. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think I could have gotten that without overeating anyways. Surely I have another yellow. Okay. Okay. I can't, unless. All right, new plan. Don't get hit. <laughs> like, you may be like, why would you reroll that stuff, sell that stuff, sell that? I'm so rich and my altar's already capped out. That was the way to do that. And boy, did I get there in the end. I mean, obviously like I want if I had the fifth slot, oh, this would be the perfect... If I, I would say, like, my dream five items would be these, if I could have that food that gave me the fifth slot, you know? All right, so, yeah, plan is just kill the boss so fast, so fast, that we don't have to even try. I think it might be possible. Ow! And it better be, because uh, what the hell was that? <laughs> mission accomplished <laughs> man mission accomplished oh thank god you don't have to beat the true final boss you just gotta beat that guy uh, I don't have the greed or the mystic thing anyways, just before someone gets upset that I'm going to upgrade one of these things. Hack speed, 10 power. 10 power could be good. I feel like um, a weapon damage thing, cooldown of skills down is not bad. Six attack speed and a little bit of crit damage isn't the worst. Oh god, this stuff is mostly trash. Okay, is this have something? Okay, if that had something better, I would have considered it. 8 power, 3 defense is not bad. 10 power. I'll take 8 power, 3 defense over that for sure. 
6% attack speed, 5% critical damage. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I think that that's something. Ah, this is tough. I'm leaning towards this one. It's like... Because the other one was the 10. So I'd rather have 8 and 3 defense, like an extra 3%. Because it might mean that it may be the difference maker between taking, t like, 1 hit to die or 2 hits to die or 3 hits to die. And if it is, then that's worth it. But I'm happy. Like, I don't care what happens now. If we don't win, we don't win. I don't really could not care less. I just wanted that freaking costume. I guess I just didn't realize that we uh, didn't make it. We didn't beat that guy last time? The last time we played this character, we didn't beat that guy? Really? Weird. All right, yeah. It, this is just this is for bonus points at this point. I don't do not care. Okay. That was some malarkey, but okay. We have three lives. Please do the spin move. I think I can handle it today. No lives needed. No extra lives needed. Just do lots of damage, forehead. That was... That's the ultimate glass cannon run right there. <laughs> that is so... This is such a glass cannon run. Alright, we're out of here. Oh my god. Beautiful. Alright, how many levels? 25? 26? Oh, maybe not. It's just always going to be 24? Yeah, you son of a gun. Alrighty. Still. Pretty darn good. If I do say so myself. Does that count for the, um... It would be, I guess that'd be for the platform. Huh. He's kind of the opposite here. 45 max HP down. Max HP increases every time a boss is defeated. That just sounds nice. Honestly, what a nice reward for, for that, uh, that grueling kind of a, you know, character. Because this is like... The game is hardest when it's already easy, and then you're going to have more health. Theoretically, this absorb passive would make it so you get more health than you, like, than 45 over the course of the run. If you get 10 health per, or is it like 10 health per boss or what? Like, I don't know. If it's 20 per boss, that's incredibly, incredibly good. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, that was Devil Swordsman done and out of the way for a long time, if not uh, ever, <laughs> to be to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, I guess what do we do now, I, I suppose? Because I wanted to keep on doing uh, these. I mean, well, want to is a very, is a big stretch. I honestly, I, the more I've done this, the less I like this system. I feel like... It, I guess it's probably maybe... M no, I was going to say it'd be more rewarding if you, like, aren't winning as often as I have been. That's not a gloat. That's just, like, a maybe it'd feel more rewarding then. But I don't even think that's the truth. Because if you need all that help, you basically, if you're saying, I need the help from the meta progression, you're like, you have to grind the meta progression five times? That feels so weird. And I know it's like, you, you could probably say, you don't have to. It's five extra points. But it's five extra points, and it's like um, five HP and a bonus five of another stat. Like, one was defense, one was crit chance. So that that adds up. That adds up to a lot over the course of the five, on top of the fact that the five extra ability points is an entire extra one of these, which some of them are really big. I don't know. It's a little bit... Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's just a little... A little too much on the grindy side for me to like it.
But I will say the good news about Dungri, like, because, you know, the astute among you may know that I don't like meta progression. I think it's usually lazy and bad, typically. I know it has some benefits to it. Um, but anybody who cites accessibility, I think that's silly. Someone should not have to grind in order to play the difficulty setting that they want to play. So therefore, I think like for accessibility, I think that makes no sense. It really is just like, I want a checklist to do. And for this, it's like, there's enough of a checklist already. Like, you know, this stuff is checklist. This is a checklist. The unlocks are checklists. Like, I don't know. You can have that sense of progression, stuff like that already. And I feel like if you're going to do the meta tree, maybe just do one, right? Like, make me have to level up to level 30 once. And then this, I actually think, on the flip side, I think this is genius. I think I, it's so elegant. It's like, it's such a small thing. But the additional ability point for climbing the ascension, that makes it so clear where your meta progress is supposed to be while you climb so you never have that weird ambiguous feeling of like should i be able to beat this difficulty like easily right now like i think that system is genius so like i know some people you complain 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 like i, I don't think i'm really complaining that much i'm just pointing out what i think is good what i think isn't good uh and i think this system is fantastically smart i think it solves the delicate issue that a lot of people are having when designing their meta progress systems I think that this is so smart and I know it was just added. So like, I am so glad that I played the game now because as much as the difficulty settings are a little bit frustrating at times, most of them I like, I like 95%, 90, 95% of this stuff. I just don't like the health and defense going up at the same time. I feel like that's a lot uh, just for everything getting super tanky, but I like this system so so much that it completely offsets it if you were wondering what my opinion was on all of the meta since i talk about meta progress pa 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 <laughs> uh quite a bit uh and it's basically don't like the aegis i love i think that this is a very this is a good system too i think it's a fun one i wish that iframes weren't on the max tier of swiftness i think they should be a base setting it makes it feel like you need to always put 20 points into swiftness thus making a lot of the trees not feel viable i think that that's a thing that and the fact that or if you are having a lot of trouble climbing and stuff then 20 into mystic feels too required i think that that's really my issue is like a lot of these things are really cool but then you're like, well, but I have to have this or I have to have this. So I don't really get to play with those ones. So that's my opinion on that. Like, I love the uh, I love the design of this and everything. The balance on it has me with a little bit of a question mark. But I don't know. Like, I get entirely why uh, people like Dungreed as much as they do. I get why some people don't like Dungreed as much as they don't as well. But all in all, I'm in the camp of I'm like very pleasantly surprised by this game. There's a lot of things that I that I do really enjoy. Um... And uh, the things that I don't enjoy aren't that big of a deal, right? They're not, the, they're not that big of a deal. I talk about them because I like to talk about what I would improve about the things that I love. I don't like to talk about things to improve in things that I don't love. <laughs> it's I just because I can't do it in a positive I, with a positive spin. Done great, good. That's all I'm getting at. I'm just was feeling like I could put this little uh, spiel at the end of this one since it was a little bit shorter because um the difficulty one modifiers are runs are a little bit shorter because of this I but alas alas that is that that's gonna do it here for today thank you for watching check out the channel for roguelikes more every single day if you'd be sad to see dungreed go you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below uh i may just do like a difficulty one human lasley run tomorrow because i need to keep on grinding the Aegis to get to the point where I'm playing with the intended difficulty. Uh, like, the one-to-one -one intended difficulty. I really do think that this, you know, since this came out first, they intended that this was finished before you even started doing this. And it shows, and it feels weird. Uh, anyway. Alas, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it for today, for real. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel, Rolex more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!